Okay, I hope this works. You can hear Montana like scurrying around because obviously I'm at a new place and you guys have not been updated for quite a while. So basically, oh I can't, Montana, you're gonna have to take a seat. Tansy, you're gonna have to sit. I'll go stick her outside really quickly um, and then we can finish the rest of this. All right guys, so there is gonna be a video all about how I ended up here at this new house. Yeah, but anyways, all that will be in a different vlog. But this one here is dedicated for a fashion haul, so let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm just sipping this simple wine. I got this simple wine from Trader Joe's and this cup from Amazon. I will leave them linked down below, not the simple wine, but the um, cup from Amazon. I love if you guys would like to check it out. All right, so the first thing I bought is this dress here. It is more of like a razorback, I think is what it's called, dress. Um, it's really cute, really form-fitting dress. It is in a beautiful olive color, and it's a very stretchy material. This is from H&M, so all these first items that I'm gonna go through are gonna be H&M items. This is gonna be a large, uh, a size large, and it was $12.99 from H&M. Such a staple dress. It is like, I would say like one of the best. If you don't have a dress like this in your closet, then you need to go out and buy it right now. It is super inexpensive. Honestly, I may just go buy it in every single color. I'm pairing it today with these um, little slides. They are a studded white slide. I feel like this is like a white little clutch. I think this is super flattering. All right, so the next thing that I purchased are these like really loungy, really beachy type pants. I got this in a size large because I want it to be very loose, very flowy. The fabric is really nice. I feel like if you wore really distinct pattern type underwear under this, you, you might be able to see it in like when the sunshine hits. But for the most part, if you just wear like a neutral underwear, I think it'd be fine. All right, so here is the next little vibe. Now this one, I definitely, once again, it's the beach pants for me. But these are the little beach pants I was telling you about. They fit a little bit above the ankle. I would definitely wear them with like a top like this because obviously, like I said, beach look. Um, maybe even like a straw hat. I do have a really cute straw hat. Um, but just that wrinkly beach look vibe is, I'm just so here for it. I completely adore this beach pant. Like how cute is this? So cute. Yeah, there's my dog. She's coming out. And like, someone tell me I don't belong in some type of tropical beach weather. Loving life and living. All right, and the next thing I picked up is this here. This is a plain black dress. It's like a t-shirt dress, so it's like really long. Um, I do like the length of this dress. I got it in a size large and it's $9.99. It's great for a staple dress. I feel like my shoulders sway on the broad side rather than like the slender side. I don't know it's the opposite of broad. But basically these types of shoulders, like when they go out to this point um, on shirts, they just make me look a lot more boxy than necessary. So I don't really think I'm gonna keep this one. I may try it on again with some sneakers and see if it's something that I can see myself in. But I really don't think that I'm going to keep this one. This is this next outfit. Um, I don't really know. I'm not sure how I enjoy this. It's definitely something that I feel like would really look very cute if it was like ruched here or if it was like held tight. But it is a t-shirt dress after all. So it can only do what it can do. So I paired it with a little bit of a heel and a snatched waist and you know. Just do what you can. This most likely will be a return for me, but I thought I'd show you guys on either way. I don't hate it, I just don't love it. It's like more towards the hate side though, definitely. The next thing that I purchased, and I for sure am taking back, are these here. Um, I got these in a size large. They are completely see-through, and that's why I'm taking them back. The next thing that I got is a cute little set. So it comes with this little top here. It's like a darker brown color. Um, it's this little flowy like crop tee. And then it comes with these same like textured pants. The pants are pretty long and they're flared at the ends, which, are, which is really cute. The only thing I will say I don't like about this is I had to buy the pants in a size, oh, Girl, no wonder I didn't like them. I was like, these fit me so tight. I bought these in a size small. I completely did not mean to grab the small. I meant to grab the medium because they didn't have a large. I wanted them very flowy, but honestly, guys, these are so tight and not cute on me. 
Um, I'll still show you guys how they look, but girl, this makes more sense now. They were sold separately, so the top, the top was $9.99 and the bottoms were $14.99. Basically, this is how it looks. Like I said, this is too tight for me. This is a size small. I'm not a size small. Um, they're not anything crazy. I just kind of expected them to be a little bit looser. Also, so like this is the top. I feel like this would be a cute set, but I just there's something about it. I don't know. It just makes me look a little too boxy. Like I said, I think that the shirt is a little bit too long. Like if it was here, it would look really cute. Or if it was like a little bit longer, it would make sense. But this like length is not, at least not favorable to me. So I feel like if I ever kept this, I would definitely like either tuck it into the bra if I had one on at the moment. Sorry, lots of changing. Um, decided not to stick it on for this outfit, but just like something like this where I kind of tie it in the middle, I feel like is a good option for this one. Okay, the last two items that I purchased from H&M were both um, denim. So the first pair of denim I actually have on right now, I've been wearing all weekend. It's probably one of my favorite denim that I have in my closet at the moment, like one of my top like three, I would say. Um, I bought them all in a size 12. Like I said, all sizes do run differently at H&M. So the one that I have on currently fits me good. They're perfect for like beachy weather as well. So these are super cute. I will say though that the buttons, I have noticed my two favorite pair of jeans. I have the Levi's 405s or 401s, 501s, whatever they're called. Um, I have those jeans as well. I have the button up version of them. And I will say that the buttons always make you look a little bit more pudgy. If that's, if that's the correct word for it. Um, I don't personally mind them. Honestly, at the moment I am a little bit pudgy, so it's all good in the hood. But um, yeah, just FYI, if you haven't bought a pair of jeans that have all buttons and no zipper, they do make you look a little pudgy. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys everything this way. So here are the straight leg jeans. I absolutely adore them. Like I said, there's buttons here, so it makes you look a little bit more like what is it, pouchy? But I still think they're super cute, like mom jeans almost, like a mix between mom and boyfriend jeans. They're super high-waisted. They have like a lot of room up here. Um, they have that slit. They're above my ankle. And here I'm just pairing it. It's like a very summery look. This is definitely like a beach look. But I have some like cute little sandals on. This, I basically am just gonna throw on a black bag and call this a day. This next pair of jeans that I bought, are so freaking cute. I was so sad that they didn't fit me. So once again, they're straight legged. I think I'm going back to the straight leg. Basically, I used to be a huge straight leg jean girl back when I was in elementary. And I would say a little bit of high school as well um, before the skinny jean kind of took over. Um, but as we all know, the skinny jean is out. Straight jeans are in. Actually, baggy jeans are in. We are kicking it way back. They just don't fit. Um, they are so tight. Like... The other ones are like on the looser side and this one is so tight. So they just don't run the same, but I do enjoy the fact that they are very tall jeans, which I don't really get a lot of jeans that hit me where this one is hitting me at. So I was really excited about it. It has that single rib. It's kind of loose all along the leg, except for like the thigh area or like the hip area, which I really like. Whew, I can barely even breathe in this guys. I legit like sucked it in to like zip these up for you. Now friends, let's go ahead and move on to our next place. This next place that I purchased items at is Forever 21. I only purchased two shirts and one hat, so let's get into that. Now this shirt, a lot like those H&M jeans I was telling you about, has become one of my favorites. Um, so it's just this like really cute little tee. As you can tell, I've clearly been wearing it. Um, I like it because it's almost like that distress where it like, if I undo the seam, the seam is supposed to be up and out, but instead it curls in and I just think it's so beautiful. Um, here as well, if you can see where it's like curling, it's almost like you cut it and then you pulled it and it gives you that distressed look. So I think this is a beautiful tee. Um, it's also in that olive color. I'm really enjoying that olive color. I think this color is back for the season, which I am not mad at. I really enjoy this crop and I've been wearing it a lot recently. All right, so this next outfit is this top from Forever 21, these jeans from H&M, and these white studded slides. I believe these were from Target. So here is the shirt. Like I said, it's super flattering. It's so beautiful. Like even what it does here, like when it like kind of um, tucks underneath, it just naturally does that. But I just think it's such a flattering and beautiful shirt. 
Um, super inexpensive. I'm pretty sure this was at most $7.99. But yeah, it's gonna be a staple for me. Now, the next one that I got from Forever 21 is this one here. This one is one of those vibey ones that have the seams on the outside, like those lines. Um, this one I got in a size large. It is $12.99 originally. It's kind of pricey for a tee like this. It's very interesting that I bought it. <laughs> Usually, a little crop like this, I would not buy, I would not pay $12.99 for. Um, I've even gotten some from Zara that are like $5.99. I just don't see the point in buying them, especially because it's really like simple looking. But I am definitely going to return this one only because the seams, I thought they were going to be a lot more flattering and they're not on. So, okay, so here is the top from Forever 21. Like I said, there's something off about it. Like, <laughs> okay, so this is a little weird to say, but it makes it seem like I have like 50 nipples like all over me, like here, 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 here. Every time it like pulls or it doesn't, it just doesn't sit straight. So then it has like so many, like if it was like this, it would be fine. Like that would be fine. That would be fine. That would be fine. But instead it's like, it's like 35,000 nipples everywhere. So most likely gonna return this also. I think it's a little bit too wide for my liking. It gives me a very Romeo and Juliet-esque type of feel. But I just feel like the color is off. This other, like, other than this cut, I think this cut is beautiful. But I think that everything else about this is definitely just not working in my favor, at least. If this is your style, then more power to you. It's $12.99 at Forever 21, girl, or boy, or non binary. But it's just not for me. So I'm gonna return this one for sure. Lastly, I bought a hat. <laughs> So this is what the hat looks like. It is completely gorgeous. Sorry, my hair looks a little messed when I put it on. It is completely gorgeous. It has this beautiful, like, very dusty, deserty um, string on it. It's just giving me such, like, Sahara Desert vibes, like Egypt vibes almost. Um, but yeah, it was, I believe this hat was, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get it wrong. I wanna say it was under $25. I'm definitely thinking it was more on the like teens side of things, um, but it's a beautiful hat. I've gotten so many compliments already. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I completely forgot to film an outro, so I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked any of these pieces, um, I got these, well, I got all these pieces within the last month, so they're probably still in store if you guys want to try them out or online. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon with another video. Bye guys.